This card is really gross. Sorry I'm a little bit late, but I'm back with the weekly two box opening. One piece set six, two boxes every week for the next six weeks. Let's strip them. So you may have seen my case opening at the beginning of the strip them season. Uh, I strip them the whole case of this set. And I may do a, there may be a live stream somewhere. I don't know what's gonna happen, but this is the regular two week box opening where I just strip them packs and talk about whatever, bless them. This isn't one where I just cut to the hits. In my case openings, I only show the hot cards. Ooh, in this, I show all the shiny cards. But I don't show the other cards. I just go to the card at the back of the pack. Um, I still haven't played the set, so I'm opening this. The set has just released, and I'm opening these, and I'm recording all of them, and I just release them one week at a time so you all can enjoy some shrippums weekly. And so I can have my cards in time to play with them because I like playing cards also. I enjoy playing the game. It's very fun for me. And I enjoy making cards for the game at Kaizoku Cards. If you haven't heard of Kaizoku Cards, check them out. Check me out. This is my Reiju. Probably going to be released. I don't know. Look on the, Go check out the site. You can follow me on Instagram. That's where I post all my notifications of what I'm dropping and when. Um, so Kaizoku Cards Instagram and KaizokuCards.com is where it all goes down. So check it out. Give me a follow. I appreciate it. Helps me get more shrippums here. So, you know, the Kaizoku cards fuels the shrippums, as they say, as the ancient saying goes. That's two Reijus in one box. I, I really like the Reiju alt art. I did pull one in the case opening. I would love to have a play set of them. Um, but it seems like, all right, so I'm starting actually from the bottom of this case. Because in the case opening, all the heat was on the bottom of the case. So I'm kind of testing to see if that's real. And we'll explore. So in theory, this should either be an alt art leader case or an SP case. There's an alt art, alt art Hody. I just need two more of these, and I'll have my playset. This guy's insane. This card is really gross. Resting two four costs. Most blockers are four costs. There aren't that many like big big blockers. Um, so he helps you swing for game, especially in Yamato. I want to try building the. I think the Sky Island Yamato seems like the wave. Omen Holly. Just so good. Ohm's just such a good card. He's so, so good. Uh, but yeah, so um, I'm thinking that there's gonna be an SP or an alt art leader in this box. That's my guess. If the cases are mapped and you know, I don't have a huge sample size to check from, but we will at least get to explore a couple Moria, that's nice. That's Gecko Moria number two. Just need two more of this guy. This card's insane. Chain so many aggressively nutso things. So it could be possibly an SP, or it's possible that we might see a leader in here because we got the two alts. So that would be consistent with what we saw in the other case. So in the Blessum, maybe. Could the Blessum be a Yamato leader? Yes, it could be. Not 100%, but it could be because it's red in the back. Reiju is probably probably my least favorite art out of the alt art leaders in the set. I like my Reiju better. But that's fine. Still an art leader, and it's a good leader. So, cool. Very cool shrippums. So it does look like, so far, it's consistent with what we saw, at least in the last case, because we're starting at the bottom and we saw three hits in a box. The top of the box looks like it's all two hits. I saw a, um, a video where somebody opened a treasure rare Nami and it was just the treasure rare Nami and the uh, Zoro secret. So I'm assuming that box, uh, bless them, was from the top of a case. And honestly, I'm not, I don't really care to pull the treasure rare Nami. The treasure rare Nami is not, definitely not something I'm chasing in this set. I think the foiling's cool, but it's not, um, that's not something I necessarily care about having at all. So I would actually be kind of bummed if it was a box with a treasure rare Nami and a secret rare, because I'd actually probably rather have most alt arts in the set. 
There aren't really many alt arts I don't want. I think all the alt arts in the set are like pretty good. Pretty good looking, pretty useful. Uh, there's a lot of cards with a great amount of utility in this set. Not every color, but a lot of colors get a lot of tools. There's our Zoro, secret rare. So it's likely that I think we're gonna see a uh, SP or an alt art leader in this box. That's my guess. The odds are on a leader. The odds are against an SP because we only opened two out of the uh, wad of these bottom boxes. But so far, it could be possible. I don't know, I'd like to see, I haven't seen anybody open a Zoro Manga Rare yet, but it would be interesting to see if the Zoro Manga Rare comes in a box with two hits or one hit. Because if this is consistent, ooh, Alt Art Zoro Secret Rare, we haven't pulled one of these yet. Sick, I think this art is so sick. I absolutely love this. Definitely playing at least one or two of these in Yamato, maybe even three. Once Sakazuki's out of the picture, this card becomes really, really good. But yeah, there's either gonna be an SP or an alt art leader. I still haven't pulled a Yamato. I'm missing Yamato and Moria, I think, in the last case. What's also cool about this set is there's only six alt art leaders now. So, you know, between two cases, it's likely that you'll pull all of them or you're pulling more than 50% in one case. Ooh, Robin SP. Nice, I think I pulled two of these in Japanese actually. And I guess this, you can play this in like Purple Luffy or something. Miss All Sunday. Cool, that's it for the Shrippum. So yeah, thanks for checking it out. Um, I think that there are some really, really useful cards in this set. Like the Secret Rare is good. And um, the Reiju is really good in purple. Hody's just good in green. Gepamoria is good in black, so I think they did a good job with making like generically good alt arts, which is cool. I'm a dentist. I can't end without a dental tooth tip. My dental tooth tip to you would be make a routine that's manageable for you. That's what's important. It's not important about doing the best possible thing in the world. It's doing the thing that you can do every day. So whatever that looks like for you, work on that routine with your teeth. Try to get in brushing twice a day and flossing once a day if you can. Shower flossers are a great option. Uh, you can buy them on Amazon. It's just like a tube that plugs into your shower and you just blast water between your teeth when you're in the shower. But figure out what works for you and try and be consistent with it. I'll see y'all next week. Hey, man.